everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really easy and really tasty recipe for how to grill corn on the cob with lavender oil. That's right. Now I'm using this beautiful uh, corn on the cob that I got from Harvest Barn Country Markets. They have the most beautiful produce and especially their corn every year. Look at this gorgeous corn. Now make sure you check out my review on it. It's plump. It's perfect. Look at that. Now I'm going to take off the corn. Um, husks and the silk just for tonight and I have my grill preheating on high. All right, I'm right back. Okay, so I'm using this beautiful cooking oil and it's from Neo Lavender and this is what it looks like. And it's grapeseed oil infused with lavender, Angustifolia lavender at that. It smells amazing, it tastes delicious, and it really will give a nice flavor to your corn. Now, corn is really, really tasty with lavender. Make sure you check out my recipe for how to grill corn with a compound lavender butter. That was really stellar, and this is equally as stellar. So I'm just going to use a little bit in my palm, and I'm going to coat these corn with that oil. Now, I didn't get this oil at my grocer. I got this at my local Harvest Barn Country Markets, just like the corn. You can find them online at harvestbarn.ca. There's two locations. One is in Niagara-on-the-Lake and one is in St. Catharines. I got mine at Niagara-on-the-Lake store. Oh, it smells heavenly. Now, I'm going to season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper first, and I'm going to throw it on this grill. I always like to freshly grind some pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle generously, as much as you like. The finer you grind it, the easier it'll stay on the corn. I also like to serve it up with some extra freshly cracked black pepper. A little bit of salt. And onto the grill. Now what you're trying to accomplish is to get a nice charred look all over the, the corn. You don't want it completely black, but you want nice charred bits. That's what makes it super tasty. Now you're going to see that this corn is going to really develop in color. It's going to become more golden and that's how you know it's cooking and it's done. Now you're going to uh, char it as much as you like. You don't have to completely char it, like I said. Just get enough of what you like. This will probably take It'll take less than 20 minutes on a grill. This is on high, okay? Let's check this corn. Now, that's right. That's exactly what I want, to get these little charred bits all over. So you're just gonna keep rolling them around and getting them cooked on all sides with a little bit of that char. Gorgeous. Keep it going. Okay, I'm gonna take my piece off. It looks beautiful. This is what I want, the char on all sides. That's my favorite way is grilling corn and doing all kinds of beautiful toppings and, you know, different seasonings on it when you're cooking it. Really changes the whole flavor profile. So when you're eating corn on the cob all summer, you will never get bored. Always gotta have some butter. Now, this lavender oil won't be um, overpowering. What it's gonna be is it's gonna lend a beautiful nuance of lavender to the corn, as opposed to the compound butter I used the other night, which is just jam-packed of lavender flavor. Some people um, may not enjoy that uh, really floral floral flavor, but this will be just, just a nice hint of it that they may not even know what it quite, what quite it is, but it's really, really tasty. So if you just want a little bit less, less sometimes can be more. I've always got to have my pepper, a little bit more. All right, let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. It smells good. <laughs> it tastes really good, and I'm right. It gives just a nice nuance of lavender. Oh, that is so nice and subtle. Mmm. Mmm. It doesn't overpower the cob, but it gives a nice extra savory flavor. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's really great oil. Mm mm mm. Mm. Man, that's good. Mm. That's how you do it. That's how you grill corn on the cob with lavender oil. This is going to lend a nice little je ne sais quoi, a little something different too. Um, just you know, instead of using olive oil or using another kind of oil, this lavender oil is a really, really, really great way to spice up something that's, you know, could be a little bit mundane or that you're used to making all the time. This is just going to give that little extra something that you go, oh, that's really tasty. What's, what did you do different? Beautiful stuff. 
Now make sure you check this stuff out. You can find it at Harvest Barn Country Markets. There's two locations in Southern Ontario. One is at um, one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake and one is in St. Catharines. Again, you can find them online at harvestbarn.ca. All right, that's it, that's all. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. This show's brought to you by Bam Niagara Boxing Club. Don't hate, get in shape. Make sure you register for classes at bamniagara.ca. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.